today we paint it purple with a kickoff of Okinawa Week on Living 808. All to shine a spotlight on the annual Hawaii Okinawa Festival this weekend. And Pamela Young, no stranger to the culture, having enjoyed the hospitality of Okinawan Islanders several times, joining us to tell us all about the homeland of local Uchinachu. And it's so nice to have you here. <laughs> Thank you. Well, there's a saying in Okinawa, Ichari Bocheri, which means that if you meet someone, your family forever. And that's exactly what we found on Mixed Plate when we went there pre-COVID, fortunately. So um, the festival, the biggest cultural festival uh, in Hawaii is this weekend, virtually Saturday and Sunday. But KHON2 is going to have a one hour primetime special at seven o'clock on Saturday. So before we get into that, um, let's take a look at what we saw in Okinawa. Okinawa is the largest island in the Ryukyu archipelago, with white sand beaches quickly becoming the tropical playground for Asian tourists. Hikers and climbers are drawn to the island's towering cliffs, and kayakers find a paddling paradise in the hidden coves of Yanbaro. The park was a refuge during World War II for residents hoping to escape the devastation of the Battle of Okinawa. Today, it is a refuge for over 4,000 species of indigenous animals and plants, and a kayaking paradise for adventurous visitors and residents. Kokosai Street is Okinawa's Waikiki, with thousands of tourists and locals cruising the boulevard on any given night. That's not the only similarity to Hawaii. Okinawa people, just like Hawaii people, are, uh, they have a lot of aloha, very friendly. Uh, they're just very welcoming into your homes, into your families, into your lives. So uh, living here is like being back home. I think it, the part of the reason is maybe climate. Like it's, you know, warm weather and tropical. The island people are more laid back <laughs> and they're open to different cultures. For centuries, the Ryukyus were a separate kingdom. It wasn't until the late 19th century when the Meiji government ousted the last Okinawan king and annexed the islands as a prefecture of Japan. Sound familiar? A similar climate, culture, and history bind Uchinanju and Hawaii Islanders 2,400 miles away. In Okinawa, that's mixed plate. We look forward to more mixed play with Pamela and more Okinawa highlights this week. Uh, thank you for joining us. And I want to ask you. you, you know, being in studio with us too, but about the special kinship between Hawaii and Okinawa, because you must have experienced that while there. Definitely. Um, we were, our crew was definitely family as soon as we got there. Um, and, you know, the, the Uchinanchu spirit is very much like Aloha spirit. Mm -hmm. They'll just open their doors to you and, um, and you immediately feel like you're, you're a part of the group. And the food, I want to go oh. back just for the <laughs> food. It's just incredible. Everyone watching is going to want to go back and, and yeah. everyone uh, talking about the festival and everything happening locally here for the festival. Uh, looking at the video, too, you can't help but note the similarities besides seeing the main drag there looking like Waikiki, but mm -hmm. the too. Yes, that's on one side of the island. It's very much like Hawaii. It's got beautiful beaches. And in fact, some local hotels are setting up um, um, offshoot hotels in Okinawa and they're on their coast. So it's a, it's a beautiful place. And I know there's so much ground that you cover in putting together this special. What can we look forward to in the next mixed plate? Well, um, we went there pre-COVID and we shot the biggest tug of war in the world. <laughs> So that will be at 6.30 on KHON2. And then following that, we have the highlights of the Okinawa Festival this year, which is once again virtual because mm -hmm. of safety precautions. So that is, airs on um, the HUOA website, um, their YouTube and their Facebook channels. Um, and so we, and it's on Saturday and Sunday, and all together it's about eight or nine hours. So we've got the highlights coming up at seven o'clock. All right, we can't wait for that. I know um, you enjoy showcasing the dance and many other of the cultural highlights as well. That's tomorrow. All right, we will have that tomorrow. And then we want to let you know, of course, about the festival coming up. The 2021 Hawaii Okinawan Virtual Festival is airing on the Hawaii United Okinawa Association's YouTube channel and Facebook 
Facebook channel, as Pamela said. That's Saturday and Sunday starting at 2 p.m. Uh, there you go. And Saturday at 6.30 on KHON2. Mixed play goes to Okinawa uh, for the Tsunahiki, the biggest tug of war in the world. And this, very lucky they got in before COVID just closed everything down. It's, it's a quarter million people in one place. <sighs> You're kidding. And so we were very lucky to go there before. Oh, we're lucky to have you here. Thank, Thank you so you. much. We look forward to that.